So what's going on toxic gamers coming at you with an emergency video tonight Welcome back to your local gaming news channel Okay coming at you with the homie network tonight fellas because today we got a lot of disasters to talk about okay quite frankly I don't think you guys are ready for this one man look at this okay you got 24 people enjoying this morning <laughs> Concord player reports first of all, let's go for two likes on the video if you think there are two genders Let's go for two likes on the video if you think there are 5,000 genders then you can definitely dislike the video because uh, Apparently what we're hearing is that Concord players reports over eight minute wait time as game has lost over 60% of its players already Damn man like prior to this they had 697 people enjoying this game and now they got 178 people enjoying the game. We're gonna get right into it. Let's go for two likes for two genders. Uh, dislike if you think they're 5,000 genders. Sh uh, genders. Uh, shout out to the homie Dr. Disaster. Roll this one. This Appreciate video subscribing with a disclaimer. This video will feature depictions of cave vests in Star Wars Outlaws. So if you don't have a strong stomach for ugliness, you may not want to be eating anything while you watch this. That shit is gross. But anyways, what's a good way to tell that a product isn't selling well? Star Wars Outlaws is a prime example of it. The game is still in pre-order mode, and they are giving shit away with it. That suggests that pre-order numbers are not very good. I'm ruined. I have nothing left. What am I talking about? Well, right now, they are advertising that if you pre-order Star Wars Outlaws on Best Buy's website, they will give you a $10 gift card. Considering the extremely low margins that retailers have with video games, that $10 represents virtually their entire profit margin. This tells us plenty about this. This is highway robbery. Imagine, imagine, like, you buying a game for $70 and they're bribing you that we're gonna give you $10 back. Nah, fool! I'm gonna keep my $70 to myself! I'm gonna save $70 by not buying the game! Simple, simple, simple. If you buy the game, they give you $10 back, which means you lost 60 of that. Be smart, be smart, guys, be smart, okay, be smart. The state of pre-orders for Star Wars Outlaws, they are so desperate to push this Ubisoft turd out the door, and somewhere out there, somebody is chuckling about the absolute state of this Wait game. Wait for it. Can you guess who it is? Well, of course I know it. It's me. <laughs> I think he's gonna dance. <laughs> you're gonna dance, you're gonna Good dance, one. I think. Yeah, yeah, here we go. <laughs> He's gonna dance. Okay, let me actually get to the let me get to the, the the content here. Love the homie dancing, by the way, but he dances every video. So here's to be trouble in paradise for Ubisoft and Star Wars Outlaws. Love it. The pre-order numbers can't be good if they are giving away a ten dollar gift card to entice you to buy it. I know people who work for retail chain stores where they order games like this on the regular, and one of them sent me this image, which is from the order screen of their distributor's website. As you can see, this game costs just under sixty bucks for wholesale cost. Now, this is a smaller retailer, much smaller than Best Buy. Bro, what what ten dollars gonna do for me right now, bro? Like damn, I should be getting paid to play this junk, bruh. What are we talking about? Um, and it says junk rose fighter. I mean, bruh. I mean, bruh. bruh. So I'm willing to bet that the price that Best Buy gets is going to be at least a little bit better than this smaller retailer, due to the okay. fact that they order in such large volumes. Chances are, though, that their cost is something closer to $59. So once again, they are wiping out just about their entire profit margin just to get rid of this game when they give out $10 gift cards. And there's only one reason to do that. The game isn't selling well. They want to offload as many copies as possible because otherwise, eventually, Star Wars Outlaws will be like all of the other Ubisoft titles recently. And within a year, this thing will be selling for less than 30 bucks. Skull and Bones, as an example, is going for $24 on Steam right now, and that game is only half a year old. Hell! Now, here's the thing, though, like, quite frankly, right? If this game sells well, it's kind of like Joe over for the gamers, right? Because if this game sells well, this will send a clear message that gamers love the woke stuff, that gamers love it, yay! But of course, like, gamers are looking like this right now. All of us are looking like this. All of us are like, hey, man, why are you guy? Yo, I, I, okay, uh, like the video if you actually hear this man screaming in your ears right now Because quite frankly every every time I see this homie homie out there It feels like that I can listen to the homie okay whenever he says that but to be fair though It's Star Wars right so right now a lot of people are like hey man It's not gonna sell well a lot of people are like hey man I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first one to buy it I'm gonna be the first one to buy it. to be frank uh, I haven't seen that many people say that I'm gonna be the first one to buy But yeah, you know that Sega's gonna buy, okay? I guess Sega's gonna be Sega's, okay? There are gonna be some Sega's that are gonna buy But here's the thing though I, I'm not gonna tell you what you gotta do with your money It's your money you do you uh, at the end of the day, right? If you're not hurting anybody, you're just buying a video game And if you think it looks good, hey, go for it, right? But my point here is that vote with your wallets If you like the game, 
and you think you wanna buy or you wanna buy, yeah, what with your wallets and buy the game. But if you think you deserve better, if you think that we all collectively, okay, our future generation, mind you, the future generation, keep in mind our future generation. If you think our future generation deserve better, you deserve better, your your kids deserve better, your grandkids deserve better, your grand 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 kids deserve better, Bruh. then you also gotta vote with your wallets and not buy the game. It just depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for good games. And you think that this game's this game is a junk, just like uh, Dustborn. Dustborn, I mean, come on now, man. What are we talking about, okay? Um, Con <laughs> Concord got 178 players, man. I mean, damn, bro, like damn. You know, so it couldn't even break 700 people. And uh, this game right now got more pronouns uh, than the player count, which is kind of wild, okay? This is wild. This is wilder than Johnny Sins movies. I mean, I could not believe it. Skull and Bones is now down to ten dollars at Best Buy for today only. I mean, holy smoke, is it ain't no joke, is okay, guys. We had Homie Network. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying <laughs> because Ubisoft said that get real comfortable by not owning our games, okay? So yeah, if you think you deserve better, what with your wallets, right? And maybe in the future, I should not be saying maybe. It's gonna get better. It's gonna get worse before it gets better, but it's gonna get better though. That's the keyword. It's gonna get better if we all collectively come together. And right now, what I'm seeing is that majority of the gamers are coming together. Th this has been a crazy time. And guess what? Like I'm reading a lot of your your guys' comments. I'm seeing people say that hey, they're part of the LGTV group that are distancing distancing themselves from the LGTV. Some people are saying that they're gay, but they're not gonna buy this game because it has gone way too woke. They're talking about like all the the, the 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 stuff that is going down. So even the LGTV people are they had enough, right? They had enough. Normal people, of course, they had enough, right? Uh, the day-to-day the, -day people, they're like, hey, what the actual hell is that? And more so than the woke crap. I mean, damn, man, what are we talking about? This game, Star Wars looks like crap. What you're watching is Tomb Raider, man. This game is so old. I don't even know when this game for came out. And this looks so good, even to this day, right? Even to this day. This is easily, like, 10 years old game. And, and you got Star Wars looking worse than a PlayStation 2 game. So, w my point here is that this is by far some of the craziest times to be alive okay like i never thought the gamers out of everybody would come together as one shout out to all of y'all there that are watching man shout out to shout out to all my ninjas out there that are watching this video because like yeah I, i'm seeing everybody across the board okay across the board like black white purple brown lgtv straight non-straight this and that right like <laughs> yeah everybody's coming together at least majority of the gamers are coming together and, and they're voicing their opinions so i never thought that i would see this I, I'm the sony ponies xbox andy's damn damn everybody coming together right now it is it is a uh, it is wild man it is wild but uh oh wait for it best buy themselves were selling skull and bones for ten dollars earlier this month so yeah best buy has seen enough their hope clearly is to avoid taking a loss on all the extra copies of the game that haven't been selling they are willing to basically break even so long as they aren't stuck with untold thousands in their inventory that they Bruh. have to liquidate for twenty dollars by the spring and this isn't the only example out there telling us that this game isn't doing well with pre-orders take a look at this tweet from twitter user stuttering craig now i grant you that this is anecdotal secondhand evidence but it's still something that i find interesting and very plausible stuttering craig writes i have an insider who works for high traffic game stores in one of the most populated places in the u.s they have 27 stores in that area and there have been a total of 41 pre-orders for star wars outlaws 41 there is no hype for this <laughs> oh, yeah, man. okay listen i i don't know i'm gonna be honest so like i refuse to believe that I refuse to believe that. But if this is re really real, shout out to the gamers! Shout out to my gamers, man. Shout out to my the, the, the homies out there. Shout out to the toxic gamers. And by the way, mind you, right? These seconds are the one that call all of us toxic, man. Just because we want a good game. Just because we ask for good games. Just because we say that we want finished games. Yo, uh, shout out to you for subscribing, gang gang. Welcome on in. Uh, appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you, boo boo. Uh, <laughs> thank you for that, man. But yeah, see, like, it's crazy. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, though, Ubisoft did once say that, hey, get comfortable by not owning our games. So if gamers are like, hey, uh, we're getting comfortable by not owning your games then I guess this is what they get. But I don't know, man. They have 27 stores in that area and there have been a total of 41 pre-orders. I don't know about that one, man. That, that, this seems ridiculously low, especially for a Star Wars game. Cap or no cap? What are we thinking? 
game. Now, I asked my buddy that works for one of these retail chains, he oversees nine stores, and I asked him what the pre-orders were like for Star Wars Outlaws there, and I'm being told that across those nine stores, they have had 17 pre-orders of Star Wars Outlaws, and they have dialed back on the number of copies that they ordered in total because they are anticipating a drop. Skull and Bones really scared them off from Ubisoft and their quadruple A titles. And who can blame them? When was the last time that Ubisoft had a really big game? Considering how low the margins are for these retailers, they have to sell the vast majority of the product. Bro, like, if this is really real, then oh my god, bro, oh my god, man, like, that would be, <laughs> that would be crazy. You know, this would be Ubisoft at that point. This would be Ubisoft, and, and they would literally be cool. <laughs> Yo, I, I, I want this to be true. But like, damn, if this is really true, man, that is, that is insane, bro. So you're telling me like 41 people pre-ordered the game? Of course, like when the game comes out, it's probably going to have more than 41 players playing the game. But if that's really true, then holy crap. I, I mean, listen here, folks. I love what I'm seeing, though, okay? I love what I'm seeing. I love what I'm hearing. But I'm trying to be rational here. This sounds too good to be true. I want this to be true, though. Make no mistake. I want us to be getting good games, though. And I'm glad gamers are waking up. But are uh, but are there only, just only 41 pre-orders? That would be crazy. In Urdu, I would like to say real quick, right? Yaar, in logon ko na, humne bachon ki tarah maara hai. Yaar, sabne inko bachon ki tarah maara hai. 24 players. Yaar, inki haalat kharaab ho ki. E, 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 pehle tha 76 peak, right? Baad pe ho gaya 83 peak. Yaar, main bata raho, inko mirghi ka dora pad jana hai. Yaar, main bata raho, itna bhi nahi karte, itne is taran bhi nahi. Bachon ki tarah maara hai, yaar. Bachon ki tarah maara hai. Uh, and look at that, 697. That was the peak five days ago, man. And uh, 24 hour peak be like less than 200, less than 200. Looks like that 178 people are really, really enjoying the game. So, man, like, I, I don't want to see like Star Wars doing <laughs> Star Wars doing like less than 200 people. That would be crazy. If that happens, it's Joel. Or, then what about that BBC Samurai situation, right? Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah, exactly, right? Because that BBC Samurai situation, the Assassin's Creed game, right? That's gonna drop in november and here's the th yo thank you for subscribing and here's the thing though that game is coming out in november i believe november the 12th uh, and man like listen man like i feel for my black homies out there man they always every time they they make black people like every time they put black people in the game they always make them gay right they did the same crap with yasuke uh they made him black back in the days it used to be black and yellow black and yellow very viral song it used to be black and yellow black and yellow black uh -huh. black and yellow black and yellow now it's like black and gay bro damn damn man like ask yourself this man they always do that in movies and tv shows like why yasuke is crazy Man, they're going for two for one right there. Man, that is crazy, man. That is crazy. These suck. That's crazy. So we're going to have the, the gay BBC Samurai situation in November as well. So yeah, if, if, if this is bad, then holy crap. But uh oh, wait for it. Before the game drops in value or else they lose their ass. But yeah, 17 is not a lot of pre-orders. They are averaging about two pre-orders per store. That is a microscopic number of people that are actually hyped about this game enough to pre-order. And it looks like that was a good call. One of the benefits of pre-ordering the gold edition of Star Wars Outlaws was the chance to play it three days early. But we're hearing that some of the bugs in the game that have been popping up required an emergency patch. And it sounds like a bunch of people are being forced to lose their save files. Damn. Imagine spending a $110 on a game to play it three days early and then after one frustrating day of buggy play you lose your save file you suckers are crazy man you suckers are at ubisoft this is daytime highway robbery what the actual hell imagine you paying like a hundred dollars to buy a game you guys understand what i'm saying a hundred dollar a franklin benji bro and i'm in canada maple dollars uh, we use maple dollars that worth jack right now bruh you, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is crazy. Or, you know, Ubisoft is like, you can uh, get the subscription of, I believe it's a uh, Ubiplay, Ubiplay. <laughs> Ubisoft Play or some crap like that. Or you can get the Ubisoft Play and, and you can pay uh, roughly $20. Granted, granted, it's not like $20 on the dot. It's more like $17.99. But still, I mean, damn, bruh. $17.99 or $18.99, whatever crap that is, right? Per month. Per month. And you can get the game day one. Shit, man. Like, we deserve better than this joint, bro. We deserve better than this junk. Suckers are crazy. These suckers are crazy. And these suckers deserve that, man.
We deserve better games than this, than this garbage. It looks better. It looks worse than PlayStation 3. I was gonna say it looks better. Than <laughs> no, it does not. Uh, but I would say that it does look better than PlayStation 1 games, for whatever that's worth. Take it for whatever that's worth. And you have to start over. That would piss me off to no end, to say the least. So keep that in mind, folks. You should never pre-order anyhow, and especially yeah, not yeah, something yeah. from Ubisoft. Their games are never. sloppy and awful and always get marked down within a year of their release. And to top it off, they tell you outright that you should get comfortable not owning there the game anyhow. Based on what we're seeing with Best Buy and these other retailers, it looks like a lot of people know that by now. The fact that yeah. all of the trailers for this game were ratioed into oblivion was a massive clue that the worm was turning on Ubisoft, that the public sentiment against this company has reached a fever pitch. I think they are cooked with this game, but I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah. Guys, you heard the man. Now we got uh oh we got another one of the situation. We got another one of the situation, man. You guys are not ready. Shout out to the homie Yellow Flash for this one here. Holy crap. So he was able and managed to get a screenshot of when there were hundred people playing. Right now, 178 people enjoying. Okay, you know what? 178 is definitely more than 104. All right, let's get to it. Oh, this is really bad. Look at this. As of right now, at this moment in time, Concord is barely over 100 players. 104 players right now on Steam. You have a peak of 241 over the past 24 hours. That's really bad. Mm. Now, because player counts are so low for this game, if you uh, but to be fair though, I think you're just a hater. 104, 178 according to maps. That is better than 104 though. Bruh. That's all I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. You can say I'm defending the game. You can say I'm defending the game. But all I know is that 178 is more uh, than 104. I mean, damn, right? But still, but still, sadly, 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 it still has more players. That, uh, it still has more pronouns than the player count of 178. Sadly, yeah, sadly, sadly. You know? it, it'd be like that. It'd be like that sometimes. I'm going to try and play it. You might be waiting up to eight minutes just to get into a game. That's a long time to wait between matches, ladies and gentlemen. That is a long time to wait between matches. And people are quitting because of it. Why would you keep playing? You can go play something else and get in matches real quick. Like the snap of your fingers. Boom, you're another one. Boom, you're another one. Nobody wants to wait eight minutes. What a momentum killer. Waiting eight minutes between matches. And one of the biggest criticisms about this game is you spend a lot of time walking around looking for fights because the maps are a little too big. So this game... Like I said yesterday, it's going to have to go free to play. They really don't have much of a choice. They've got to get these numbers back up because the people that are playing, they can't even play it. they got to wait eight oh, minutes please. to find a match. Everybody is roasting this game's failure, by the way, for good reason. It's basically DEI the shooter. <laughs> Nobody likes it. They give everybody pronouns. It's got awful character designs. It's got a lot of issues outside of just the character designs. I mean, even the robots, uh, I believe they, they even made the robot gay in the game, bro. Like, damn. Like, they even gave robot pronouns, bro. Yeah. And, and yeah, another one. See what I was saying? They always do that to black people, bro. Like, they always do that, that to... And, and, yeah, that chick is also gay, bro, so... They always do that, bro. They always do that. I cannot be the only one that sees this, man. Damn. And it's a, a high-profile game that's just not doing well. I mean, naturally, people are going to crack jokes on it. And what's really funny is to see these outlets, like PC Gamer, of all people, saying that we need to have empathy. And I just wanted to really touch on how hypocritical this is coming from them. They're saying, don't dance on the grave of all these unpopular games. But they're the first people to dance on a game and try to get it to fail. Like Black Myth Wukong. Uh, this is from August 20th. They're like We asked Black Myth Wukong's developer about the controversy over its founder's past sexist remarks. But Game Science's only reply was no comment. They got so yeah. mad about that. All of these big outlets are going after that game. Trying to destroy it. In fact, they're review bombing it. People are review bombing that game right now. Let's see real quick. Like, they're so mad. You had a guy from IGN, the co-author of the article that they all use to say that Game Science is this problematic developer had a meltdown on social media. That is wild for a single player game. Cause you know, it's a single player game and eventually it's gonna go down though. What this tells me is that some people probably have beat the game and some of them probably aren't playing right now. They might pick it up, whatever. But new people are getting this game. Peak of 2.4 million. This is like top two. If it had, I'm not sure what was the uh, the peak. I believe it was either PUBG or uh, there's another game, right? I, I think it was PUBG. Yeah, yeah, here we go. So PUBG is number one, 3.257 uh, million or 3.2 million, 57,000. That was the peak. So this game came this close. That is insane. And especially, no disrespect though, uh, because it's true, right? Game Science was kind of like a no name. And I, I, I mean, no disrespect though. They came uh, out of nowhere and they dropped this game. And yeah, like, holy crap, 2.4 million being the peak. 
that is insane man that is absolutely insane that is ludicrous bro i don't think anybody expected this game to blow up the way it did and this is just steam what we heard recently is that it, it did 10 million and that was 10 million sales uh just the other day that we heard that I, I wouldn't be shocked if it does 20 million in the coming days maybe in a month's time and in the long run in the long run right 25 million 30 million maybe even more maybe less i don't know right we'll see because gta 5 is one of those games that keeps on selling it i believe last time it was uh, sitting at 195 million copies insane right insane number but that is gta i get that right black myth wukong is not gta i'm not trying to compare but my the point that i'm trying to make here is that gta in the long run did 195 million in like decade plus right and you guys gotta understand that this game is based off of the Chinese uh, uh, mythology. So yeah, China, generally speaking, they they have a, the population is big, like uh, bigger. I believe it's closer to two billion right now. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. The point here is that if if anybody's chinese they're most likely gonna get this game and even if you're not chinese you're also buying the game uh, literally gamers across the board are buying the game and, and keep in mind this this is still a niche game this game is not for everybody but the fact that china has a massive population so this game is gonna hit well with them and it is hitting so in the long run this game has potential to do serious numbers because like i said uh, approximately 2 billion people china and of course uh, worldwide we're 8 billion right so this game is not just gonna uh intrigue just the chinese uh players it's intriguing a lot of different everybody it's intriguing everybody or i should say people from all different backgrounds uh, different ethnicities uh, uh you know all people from all walks of life essentially right but but point here is that china uh, china has a massive market so this game is doing insanely well with them and it's also doing insanely well globally as well so in the long run, I would not be shocked if it does like 25 million, 30 million, maybe even more than that, bruh. Telling people to boycott the game, and the guy's like, I don't want to hear if you enjoy the game. I'm going to block you if you like the game. Because nobody cares about these sexist remarks that the studio had. No one gives bruh. a shit. They're so mad about that. <laughs> They're getting rightfully roasted, too, for this takeover on social media. PC Gamer, the eagerness to grave dance on unpopular games has become a bad habit. And here, here we go. We got Tebow says, the eagerness to spread negativity and lies about game studios that don't go along with your agenda has become a bad habit. He's 100% right there. A lot of people pointing out, here's another one from Wandering Dutch, PC Gamer. Uh, this you. More people are playing 2017's Prey than this year's Redfall on Steam, and the latter's player count fell all the way to two players last Sunday. Literally dancing on that game's grave. Here's another person bringing it up, too. I don't, I don't know what this Redfall... Two players? Guys, let's go for two likes on the video, man. Let's not go more than two likes, bruh. Let's not go for <laughs> more than two likes, man. But check out this video on the screen. This recently just happened. Massive disaster. Apparently, they're saying that this is how much money they're losing per player. Insane story. Check this video out. If you've already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We recently had some really good gameplay leaks, heist leaks even for GTA 6. Check out this video on the screen, and I will see you right there.